Hi, Danielle here. Welcome to Danielle's Corner. Today I'm going to be sharing how to make homemade eggnog. Okay, so what you need is six large egg yolks, um, granulated sugar, heavy whipping cream. This is what I'll be using. Um, milk. I'm going to use whole milk. So I just got our... I usually use fat-free milk in my household, but I'm going to use that one. Ground nutmeg, salt, vanilla, and then it says ground cinnamon for topping, and then alcohol optional. I'm not going to put any alcohol on this because um, I want you know my daughter to try it and stuff. So I'm just going to make it virgin. But you know if you choose to put alcohol. I will put the recipe down below that you can follow. I'm excited for this. I've never made it, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you need six egg yolks, large egg yolks. So this is how I do it. I don't have like a, I've always just used my hands. I know I've seen people use like the shell, but okay, one, that's some white in there so let me take that out okay that is just the yolk I know it's kind of gross but this is how I've done it let me know if you guys have a different kind of way to to separate your egg yolk from your egg whites I've never made homemade um, eggnog just always kind of freak it's kind of scary to me because I don't know it just seems it seemed kind of difficult but this recipe I found doesn't seem hard so we're gonna try it I always just buy the Creamland um, eggnog at the store but this is gonna be fun I'm excited and I love eggnog so let me know if you guys like eggnog I am a fan if I do spike mine I usually use spiced rum that's my favorite way to do it. Okay, let me go ahead and wash my hands and then we'll move on to step two. Okay, so I got that done. Well, you watched me get it done. We got that done and I washed my hands. Now we need half a cup of sugar and we're going to whisk that. Let me put the sugar away so I don't accidentally knock it over or something so I know what a klutz I am. Okay. Whisk the egg yolks and sugar together in a medium bowl until light and clean. All right. Let me know if you guys have ever made eggnog and how you make it. I guess this is light and creamy, huh? That actually came together a lot quicker than I thought. That actually, to be just like egg yolk and sugar, it looks really good and it looks really pretty. <laughs> okay. Now let's go on to the next step. Now we're going to be on the stove. We need one cup of the heavy whipping cream. And we're going to heat this all over medium heat. So I'm going to turn it on now. One cup of heavy whipping cream, two cups of milk. And I decided to go with whole milk because, you know, it's eggnog. I guess it could make it a little lighter, but eh. Who wants to be light on eggnog for me? It's the fattiness that's so good, the creaminess. Two cups of this. Okay, and then we're going to heat this until it just starts to simmer. I also need to add a couple more things. Let's see here. Um, half a teaspoon of nutmeg and a pinch of salt. Okay, we got the nutmeg here. Nutmeg and a pinch of salt. I believe an eighth of a teaspoon is usually considered a pinch of salt. There we go. Let me go ahead and stir this together. Let me see if I'm supposed to stir it consistently or not. Combine the cream, milk, and nutmeg and salt. Stir often until mixture reaches a bare simmer. All right, I can do that. Hmm, already smells good. Well, nutmeg just smell, not smells good to me, so. All right, I'm going to let this come to a simmer. And then we will go on to the next step. 
Okay, so it is starting to slightly simmer. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat. And then what we're gonna do, um, I think I'm gonna move the camera. Okay, I'm going to move the pot right over here, have this here, and we're going to put some of this. This is called tempering the eggs so that they don't cook. I'm kind of like lopsided because <laughs> I'm doing things with my left hand. Okay, let's try this with this side. Let's see if I can. Okay. There we go. All right. Once we get most of this in here, then we're going to return it back to the pot. And I don't remember what the next thing is, but either way. <laughs> I know we're turning back to the pot. <laughs> Let me tilt this. And like I said, I've never even tempered eggs. I've never made anything I need to do that with. So this is different for me. Learning experience for all of us. Let me know if there's anything you want to see me try to make or make because I will do it. Let me do one more spoonful just to make sure. I think that's good and I think now I can go back to the stove. So I have this here, I'm gonna turn it on and we're going to whisk this all together. Let's see exactly what it says to do. Whisk constantly for just a few minutes until the mixture is just slightly thickened or until it reaches about 160 degrees on the thermometer. It will thicken more as it cools. All right, I do have a thermometer, so we can use that. But we can also just do this until it thickens is what I used to do before I had a thermometer. <laughs> but it'd be kind of cool to check it out with a the thermometer. Let me go ahead and get the thermometer. Okay. And let's see. To 160 it says. Ooh, we went to go see um, a movie called Violent Night. Oh my gosh. It was so good. Just fun, you know. Really enjoyed it. So if you guys are looking for like a different kind of Christmas movie, check it out. It was it was fun. We really enjoyed it. We had a good time. Let me. Okay, so I believe we're at 160, and it is a little bit more thickened. So I think we are good. We're actually above 160, so we are good. We don't want any kind of raw eggs. I don't anyway. I know some people eat this, but I don't even like like the yolk in a fried egg. I don't like over medium. I like them cooked all the way through. Okay. So now it said to pour into a, let me pull it up just so I can read it. Pour the egg nut through a fine mesh strainer into a pitcher. Oh, remove from heat, stir in vanilla. I need to stir in the vanilla. Miss the vanilla, we cannot have vanilla. Oh my gosh. Let's do the vanilla. Let me put this right here and stir in the vanilla. Let me get the teaspoon. Okay. I'm glad that I caught that. Let's see how much vanilla we need. A fourth a teaspoon of vanilla. That seems like not enough, but. <laughs> I love vanilla though. <laughs> okay, a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla. Oops. A little over poured there, but that's okay. Okay, and then at this point also is if you're adding alcohol, this is when you would put it in here. Since I'm not, it's absolutely fine. Okay, pour the eggnog through a fine mesh strainer into a pitcher. 
or other container and cover with plastic wrap. Refrigerate until chilled. It will thicken as it cools. And then it's got instructions if you want it thinner. And when we serve it, we can sprinkle it with cinnamon or nutmeg and fresh whipped cream if we desire. So we don't even have to use this one if we don't want to. Sorry, I can't crash down. I wasn't expecting that. So now I have this. I guess this isn't real fine, but it's gonna have to do. Okay. Nervous. I'm not of the most steadiest of hands. Okay. some remnants on the bottom I want to go ahead and um, get through here so we have all the flavor okay this actually looks really good already so I'm pretty excited Yeah. Now I'm just going to put this in the fridge and let it cool and then we will sample this in a bit. Hopefully it doesn't take too long because you guys know me at all. You know I'm not the most patient for waiting for things. So <laughs> I want to try this now. So but I'm going to wait and we'll see you back here hopefully within the next it's hot 30 minutes maybe an hour. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a try. I don't think it's completely cooled, but it's enough. Look at how lovely that looks. Nice and creamy and thick. It's still a little slightly warm, but I can't really wait. <laughs> so I'm gonna pour it in a glass. Look at that. If I can get it going again. Mmm. Okay. I smell like anything. That's my glass. Mmm. That's really good. That's actually really, really good. I'm very impressed with this. <laughs> Let me know if you guys try this. And that's that it's still a little bit warm. It's going to be even better when it's fully cold. If I could wait, that would be great. But that is delicious. Let me know if you guys try it. I'll definitely link the recipe down below. And I hope you're all having an amazingly blessed day and an amazingly blessed week. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.